The British government spends £110 billion a year on healthcare. That's about a sixth of the total state spend every year. And it's likely to be a big topic for discussion once again uh, over the course of the next few months as uh, lawmakers, MPs, are discussing it in uh, the House of Commons when they try to pass through a health and uh, social care bill. Now, I'm joined here by Dr. David Welburn of our City University Centre for Better Managed Health and Social Care here in our new MBA lounge. Um, one of the things that uh, you seem to think is that this bill is still too narrow in its uh, outlook. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right. I mean, you, you said uh, the government spends £110 billion pounds on health. Um, that's typically the NHS budget is £110 billion pounds on health. And all that you read in the press uh, about the bill is one political side or the other talking about defending the NHS or privatising the NHS one with the other. If you look at the totality of spend on health and social care, uh, not only is there £110 billion on health care, uh, there's also between £90 and £100 billion that local authorities spend on social care, which is the beginning and end of the, of the, of the health care cycle. Um, and even beyond that, there's a further £90 billion pounds worth of value that's delivered by something like 6 million people who voluntarily provide care for fa health, uh, for friends and family. Um, and indeed, 175,000 of those 6 million are people under 18 whose lives are being we're disrupted by... We're talking about by, children here, right? Yeah, we're I talking mean, about children, 175,000 yeah. children are looking after members of their family. I mean, that's, we're talking about a lot of lost childhood, sir. In, in, indeed. And if you want to reform the whole of the health and social care world, then you should really be looking at effectively that £300 billion worth of resource uh, that's, being, uh, that's being deployed. It's not just about the NHS, it's not just about the volunteers, it's not just about social care. It's about creating and indeed viewing the whole system as an ecosystem in which there are so many complexities and so many parts playing in delivering, uh, delivering healthcare. And yet our system is still designed and still, in many people's eyes, the system revolves around the hospital. The minute anybody tries to make any changes to hospital, huge local campaigns come around saying, defend, defend our hospital, protect it from the cuts. And the reality is the care that's provided in hospitals is about 15% of that total care package. And, you know, the real challenge today is not um, those uh, people being provided with better and better care in hospitals, it's that uh, through advances in medicine, we're, we're enabling people to live longer lives, we're enabling people to survive through illnesses and things like heart attacks that used to kill people. Mm. And roughly one in three of the whole of the UK population are living with conditions which need medical care, uh, be it respiratory problems, be it heart disease, be it dementia, mental health is an increasingly large problem. And not, none of our system is really designed for enabling those 10, 15 million people to live the most fulfilled lives despite their health problems. And yet the health system has enabled them to live um, uh, but increasingly, the cost and burden of providing care is for those people, not those in hospital. It's obviously a huge challenge for policymakers. So demographically, we're going to live longer and longer. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more and more old people in the next 20, 30 years. And with advances in medicine, we'll probably see people being able to live with quite severe conditions. Um, how should they really be trying to get ahead of the curve? Well, part, the, the real problem is that the system is currently designed around providing care in hospitals um, with doctors who, um, brilliant though they are, um, the system is designed around care as it used to be provided 20 years ago when it was more of an art form mm. and the doctors were the professionals who the understood industry. the art better than anybody else. Sure. Nowadays we've got huge amounts of evidence of what works, we've got much greater scientific understanding and yet we keep a system running which hinges almost entirely around the doctors and not around the science and the evidence. Uh, and it's possible, and there's been some breakthrough thinking, 
um, uh, which simply hasn't been adopted by any of the healthcare systems in the world. Some breakthrough thinking that says if you treat the whole system as a complex system and you bring complexity theory, whole systems management to bear, you can design the system very differently. And the irony is uh, that the politicians who want to reform it but look too narrowly, the, the community groups who want to protect the health system mm. but want to preserve what they know rather than change, um, and the professionals who have so many different uh, isolated professions and so many rules about the, about the professions, these are all mechanisms that are preventing the system mm. uh, from being utterly changed. And uh, what we're trying to do in the Centre for Better Managed Health and Social Care is to bring some thinking to bear to tap into some of the management science and organisational understanding um, that exists in other uh, sectors of the, uh, of the economy but simply hasn't been brought to bear in healthcare. So how do we design and run the system in a different way, not as an organisation but as a whole complex system? Mm. How do we get better value out of interdisciplinary thinking, you know, doctors and nurses working together, doctors, allied health professionals. Um, you know, there's about 140,000 uh, scientists mm. uh, and technicians working in healthcare. There's only 70,000 doctors. Yes. And yet you only hear about the doctors <laughs> mm. being at the heart of the system, not the scientists, not the 650,000 nurses. You know, the, the, yeah. the world is, a co is complex. Okay, well, it looks like it's a debate that we'll be uh, talking long uh, into the future. So, uh, no doubt we'll be discussing this topic again on Cast Talks. Uh, Dr. Hopefully. David Welburn, thank you very much, and I look thank forward you. to speaking to you thank again. You.